Okay, so we are already done with areolar connective tissue in the previous video. In this video, I'll be completing adipose connective tissue. Okay, so under loose connective tissue, you have adipose connective tissue. First things first, adipo means fat. So adipose connective tissue is that connective tissue that stores fat. So fat storing tissue is known as adipose tissue. It is a loose connective tissue. What does that mean? It means that the cells and fibers that are present in this tissue are loosely arranged and not tightly or compactly arranged. They are loosely present on the matrix. And it is your proper connective tissue. That means it contains all the typical features a connective tissue is expected to have. And what are those? The presence of cells, fibers and ground. The cells and fibers are present on the ground or the matrix. So, what are the cells present in adipose connective tissue? There are two types of cells that are present in adipose connective tissue. Number one, adipocytes or lipocytes, where adipo or lipo means fat and site means cell. So, these are fat storing cells. What do they look like? They look something like this. So there's a large spherical or oval cell. Inside the cell is a large fat globule. Since the fat globule is large, it pushes the cytoplasm, nucleus and all other organelles to the side. As a result, what do you get? You get peripheral nucleus and cytoplasm. So that's what a typical adipocyte looks like, which is most commonly found in human body. But that's not the only adipocyte present in human body. Second is fibroblast, where fibro means fiber and blast means precursor cell. So these are fiber secreting cells. These are found in very few number in adipose connective tissue. Since they are found in very low number, the fibers as well are found in very low amount. And why is that? Because the most important function of adipose connective tissue is to store fat. So a large number of fat storing cells are found instead of fiber making cells and fibers. That's the reason why. Now, this adipose connective tissue or your fat tissue can be divided into two types. What are those? I'll tell you with the help of diagram. So here are your large spherical cells. Wham, wham, they look wham. These large spherical cells, they contain large fat globule. Whoa, whoa, which is only one in one cell. So there's a single fat globule, which is very large in each of those spherical cells. This large fat globule pushes the cytoplasm and nucleus to the side. As a result, you get your periphery, per peripheral nucleus and cytoplasm. Then there's your fibers as well, elastin fiber and collagen fiber, which is found in very less amount. Both fibers and cells, they are on a matrix. Okay, so the fat globules, the large fat globules, what do they do? They store fat and the fat that these fat globules store is yellow fat. The fat is yellow due to the presence of pigment lipochrome, where lipo means fat and chrome means color. So fat col color due to the presence of fat color, the fat stored in this tissue is yellow. Since it's yellow, it gives uh, imparts yellow color. It's known as yellow fat tissue. Yellow fat tissue is the most commonly found fat in human body. Now, in human body, there are two types of fat that is present. There's your visceral fat and then there's your subcutaneous fat. Visceral fat, break the word, it contains the word visceral. That means that refers to viscera or the soft organs that are present inside of your body, like liver, intestine, stomach, heart, all of that. Those are the soft organs which are present inside of your body. Surrounding those soft organs are your visceral 
is your visceral fat. So visceral fat is found around visceral organs such as your kidney, heart, blood vessel, etc. What is their function there? So their function is protection from external injury by acting as a cushion. For example, your abdominal region doesn't have any skeleton to protect it and it contains some major organs such as stomach, intestine. Imagine someone punches you there. Ah! Imagine the amount of injury caused there. But this injury is decreased or reduced due to the presence of this visceral fat which is surrounding your visceral organ that is your intestine and stomach where they act like a cushion and absorb the shock from this particular injury. And the second type of fat that is present is your subcutaneous fat. Break the word. Sub means below and cutaneous means skin, below or under. So the fat that is found under your skin is known as subcutaneous fat. Bhoori laksa ni man chale. The subcutaneous fat ke karan laksa. Okay, subcutaneous fat acts as insulator as well as provides energy when needed. Um, let's look at a diagram to understand it better. So here's a cross-sectional diagram of skin. We know that skin consists of two layers. There's your epidermis, where epi means upon and dermis is a layer of skin. So the layer upon dermis is epidermis, which is made up of, I've already mentioned this in the chapter of epithelial tissue. It is made up of keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. This epithelium lies on a basement membrane which acts as a border between the epithelial tissue and the tissue found below it and the tissue that is found below it forms the dermis of the skin and the tissue that forms the dermis of the skin is none other than connective tissue below this connective tissue is your subcutaneous fat where it acts as insulator as well as provides energy when needed second Let's look at the diagram. It consists of large spherical or oval cells. These cells, instead of having a single large fat globule, contains of multiple smaller fat globules. However, what's different, what's more different about these cells is that they contain mitochondria, but not just any mitochondria. They contain mitochondria that is very rich in iron pigments. Since it's rich in iron cytochrome pigments, this fat imparts brown color. That's why it has been given the name brown fat tissue. Where is it found? It's found in infants and hibernating animals. What's the advantage of this tissue being in those particular places? Okay. The main function of brown tissue or brown fat is to provide large amount of heat energy quickly so why do infants and hibernating animals need large amount of heat energy quickly in adults whenever we feel cool our body starts to sever which is a form of adaptive features uh, in order to tackle low temperature so that our body can increase its temperature or feel warm by the process of friction however infants have not learned it yet learned how to sever yet they don't know how to sever. So, as an adaptive feature, they have large amount of brown fat tissue, which provides large amount of heat energy quickly to infants so that they can stay warm. Secondly, in hibernating animals as well, hibernation is winter sleep. During winter sleep, hibernating animals become completely inactive in order to protect their body from low temperature. So, as an adaptive feature here as well, these hibernating animals have large amount of brown fat so that large amount of heat energy is produced quickly to keep their body warm while they are hibernating or going through winter sleep. Okay, let me revise the tissue for you. 
adipose connective tissue is a fat storing tissue because it stores fat it is a loose connective tissue because the cells and fibers found in it are loosely arranged and it is a proper connective tissue because it consists of all three cells fibers and ground or matrix the cells found in adipose connective tissue is your adipocyte or lipocyte which are the fat storing cells these cells are large spherical with large fat globule which is either single or multiple and peripheral cytoplasm or nucleus then there's your fibroblast that secrete fibers these are found in very less number so since fibroblasts are found in very less number the amount of fibers found in this tissue is very less as well that's because this tissue is primarily there for the storage of fat so its main function is fat that's why the number of adipocytes is way more there are two types of adipose tissue depending on the type of fat it stores so firstly you have these large spherical cells with single large fat globule that stores fat and then there's your peripheral cytoplasm or nucleus the fat that it stores is yellow fat it is yellow in color due to the presence of lipochrome and since it stores yellow fat it's known as yellow fat tissue this is the most abundantly or commonly found fat in human body there are two types of fat found in human body that's your visceral fat that surrounds your visceral organ and is there to protect your visceral organ from injury by absorbing shock as a cushion and then there's your subcutaneous fat which is found below your skin and it's there for insulation as well as provide energy when needed then there's your second type of fat where the cells are large and spherical but instead of having a single large fat globule there are multiple fat globules uh, along with having multiple fat globules the cells have mitochondria which is very rich in iron pigments or iron cytochrome pigments which imparts brown color due to this brown color it is also known as brown adipose tissue and it is commonly found in infants and hibernating animals because it provides large amount of heat energy quickly and that's it for adipose tissue i hope you enjoyed this video because i definitely did